Everybody, much love and respect. Thanks for tuning in once again. Uh, just wanted to do this quick series. I guess it's gonna turn out to be because there's a lot of books and a lot of images I want to show. I know a lot of you have seen all these uh, different coat of arms of Europe. Uh, we see a lot of so-called black, so-called Negro people represented, and I just wanted to be able to show at least some of the sources. Uh, for these images so you can have them you can know where they're coming from what do they represent what country are they coming from you know what possible families if we can read the writing uh, so again thanks for tuning in one more time much love and respect to everybody hope you guys enjoy uh, this video this first part and this series that I'm gonna be doing thanks to all the new subscribers thanks to all the new patreons couldn't do it without you guys. I appreciate all the support. And anybody practicing cognitive dissonance, I hope you can break the spell. Use your eyes. Come on, open your eyes. Come on, break the spell. All right, now we're in the uh, gallery armorial or the gallery coat of arms. Right, this is in, from 1395. All right, let's go read the description. You don't believe me? No. Armorial produced in the late 14th century, 1300s, by Claes Heinensun, containing 1800 European coat of arms. Okay, it's an archive.org. Wappen den Schinkten, Wappen, coat of arms. All right, this one has, right, so called black man right here. And this is the family. Let me see if we can zoom in. Balek. Balon, oh, I can't even, Bald, Dalon, Baldilon. Again, a lot of uh, coat of arms, different dog headed, you know, animal heads, you know, yeah, white and so called black people, all right, not just white people. All right, for example, we got some white people up here, and then we got right here, see, got the dogs right next to him. All right, you can't say this is a slave, because then, then, then we'll say the same thing. These are slaves too. Then, you know, it's all conjecture. These are all coat of arms, as I said, all European family coat of arms. That's a European family right here. Another one right here. Another page. All right. Another close up. There you go. You can see. As you can read the writing. Okay, here's another one right here, and another page next to the white guy right here, and the dog and the rooster. All right, but these are again family crests, all different families. Doesn't mean this is a slave or that he's from Africa. That's conjecture. These are people from there. Another one right here next to the dragon or the dracon, right? Levitian looks like a sea dragon. You zoom in on this guy. All right, you see that? Or the lady, I'm sorry, with the long hair. And two feathers, right? Do you see that? Two feathers, right? She's rocking the feathers. Look at the long hair. White and elder. Look at the coat of arms, right? A matriarch with two feathers. The, another coat of arms right here. 
as you can see with the long was that bunny ears or something i don't know the old hairs the old hair hair right the old hairs i don't know <laughs> this coat of arms just in case it looks familiar to any of you as you can see the x right x marks the spot or the cross as they call it right that's another one right here again there's another coat of arms in another part of the, the book all right in between all these other coat of arms you see it's not all about people showing people's faces but when they do hey we see just the same amount of so-called white we'll see some in a lot of cases you'll see more so-called black all right represent it in the coat of arms all right there you go thought this one was pretty interesting too as you can see here a little darker with the big earrings almost looks like they were trying to take it off but it's again another coat of arms hmm this one looks like kind of rubbed off huh so it's hard to trust all these even the white ones you know but um you know <laughs> you gotta dodge the hijack every time just in case you know the dog head be careful with the dog head and the dragon yeah be careful with the dragon about to get the hijack and uh this is a great example of what i'm talking about like how do we know they didn't uh you know whitewash some of these press just because they knew they had to hide specific families because then it would be too obvious right so look at this see this one's just like the other ones with the long hair the same beard almost same phenotype and everything but right dark complexion here's the uh name if you can read that all right here goes x again you already know sons of our for shot shem's kids and there's a reason i say that all right i'm out khan the draw khan huh the draw khan about to show you sign all right wake up man lift the veil look at this look at this look at that who's on that let's keep going oh look at that all right look at that all right so let me back up let me show you guys let's all right you see this look at this aragon look at the aragon right next to him and this is what is it coos coos coffee coffee uh oh coffee coos or coffee uh oh the coffees huh and then we got the lot of danger the art danger hmm with the dracon huh the Drakan represent he's looking up at the Drakan Seraphim, huh? Coat of arms. Look at that. Wow, look at that. Lift the veils, break the spell. Don't tell me this is so called African. That's conjecture. You can't tell me this is a slave. That's conjecture. Just gotta face the truth. They lied to us big time. All right, right, we got we in another page. We got we got a blue a blue one right here. We got a blue we got a smurf right here, okay? <laughs> but then you see right under here with the feather. Now look at the feather. Doesn't it look like an Egyptian type feather, right? Doesn't it look like an Egyptian type feather? But who's who be rocking feathers? Who's known to rock feathers, right? Who's known to rock feathers? This is a cool one. Right? Look at that. Can it be any more clearer? All right. Phoenicians that went to Britain, huh? Huh? Ancient Egyptians. What's going on? You look at the Drakan. You see? The only person in this whole page. Oh well, other than the blue person. <laughs> other than the blue guy over here, a woman. Alright. You got the guy over here with the feather, rocking the feather, Egyptian style feather. Like the Egyptian hieroglyphs. Look at that. But it's not so-called Egyptian. That's, I'm just saying it looks like it. Dodge the hijack. And another page here. Uh oh, double dog and the dracon, huh? The dracon's like, huh? -huh. All right, and what's this right here? Check this out. All right. A so called black man, right? On a European coat of arms. All right. And they're not all called Moors or Moors, right? So you can see the coat of arms 
We got the Lion Dragon on the coat of armor as well. Then we go a little down. We got her right here. Another coat of arms right here. Right here. She looking looking kind of American indigenous, huh? Looking kind of American indigenous, I would say. Huh? Another page here. Some more family crest or coat of arms. And look what we got here. The only person in this whole page, right? The only head. Because we don't even know what all these people look like, right? Because they're not representing themselves. They're putting other symbology or other things. But imagine if we had a representation of all the coat of arms. We'll see who's more, right? Who's the majority? And look at this. All right. You see that? All right. Just in case you recognize this. I thought this one was uh, kind of funny. We got <laughs> a pale, pale, you know, pale skin one with the curls. You see the curls? All right. Still got like a little fro, huh? <laughs> All right, you just go to the next page and you see this one. Oh, yeah. Kind of like the same here. You see this, what I'm saying? See the hair? Go down to him. So, hmm, have some of these been whitewashed? I don't know, you know? Something we're going to dig on. But, um, you know, here's the crest again. The X, X marks the spot, the top. Paradise. Arthur Shots kids. What's going on, Shem's kids? All right, and we uh, continue. And uh, as you can see, all these other crests, there's no heads, right? Depicting what they may look like or whatever. Um, they got other stuff, but the only family here with a depiction of a person, and this is what they look like. You see that? So swarthy, huh? Can I get a so swarthy? You can see the uh, family coat of arms or the crest van does that say van Kroon, Kroonigen van Kroonigen or van Kooniger right van Kroonigen alright and I'm continuing you can see here a pale, pale skin person here and then we got oh no with the horns right but you see the family crest uh, Muller or May, no, what is it? Mayflower? Does that say Mayflower? What? No, Meyer, Hover, something like that. You guys can probably interpret it better than me. It's hard to read that. All right, again, remember this is from 1395. This is from the 1300s. All right, 1300s. These ain't Africans. This ain't Spain or Portugal. You get what I'm saying? This is not Iberia. We're talking about Germany. Germany. Got another one right here <laughs> with the hat. Kind of like the Conquistador's hat, right? A little bit. Again, with the three crescent moons. From Polarni, the Who Polen. I can't read that at all. I'm not even going to try. Got another uh, coat of arms right here, as you can see. So swarthy. We got like, uh, what is this? A dog face, clown? I don't know. <laughs> but. They got some interesting uh, depictions, right, for their family crest. All right. And again, the brother up here and the family represented. You can read that. Got another uh, coat of arms right here. You got like the rams uh, horns on. This is the family or oh, the crest right here. Again with the X, that looks familiar. Uh, maybe some of you can read that. It's the family represented. This is another page of the book, as you can see. The only person represented on this page, and it's a so-called black man, black family, royal black family of Europe. I thought this one was very interesting. What appears to be like the peacock, right? Feather or, or colors on the tail, right? And if you don't know uh, the significance behind that, or, uh, to me, you know, I have to get back into that uh, study, but check out my top videos in relation to the peacock. 
right? And that's a family crest, all right? Also on this page, let me just show you, all right? All the way to the right again, another person, and again, so-called black man, right? So swarthy, right? This is the crest, so you can see. In the family, if you can read that. Got another one right here, all right? Another one with the feather. And this is the family. Does that say Boo Coop or Boo Booing Corp? Booing Corp. Booing Dorf. Booing Dorf. <laughs> but I cannot read that writing at all. It's very hard for me. But that's the uh, coat of arms of this family. Again, you see the only head in this page as well. The only f person or face represented in any of the crests in this page. And again, it's a Swarthy so-called black family more coat of arms another page appears to be another feather right here and a woman all right now we got double-headed so-called black man and we've got pale skin but curly hair again very interesting coat of arms more uh, coat of arms right here now uh, these two as you can see so swarthy with her long braid coming down. And we know this symbol right here already, right? The Flor de Lis or Lis, something like that. And again, two so-called black families of royal black Europeans represented here. And again, that was the uh, jewelry uh, coat of arms book or armorial from 1395, all right? 1395. Right, uh, real quick, huh? We're at the uh, Brotherhood of St. Christoph of Alberg. It says about us, the Brotherhood of St. Christopher was founded in 1386 by Heinrich de Foundling, an orphan and simple herdsman. The Brotherhood now has over 20,000 members from all over the world. All right, just a little history. The only reason I came here and wanted you guys to know is because they have a bunch of manuscripts in their website of coat of arms that had, you know, was very interesting and uh, very important for us to see and know about, all right? So a couple of these uh, manuscripts, you know, we went into them. So for example, uh, we're gonna go into this book. It says, Book of Messengers of the Brotherhood of St. Christoph and Malberg. It says, the owners of the Royal Bavarian Order of the Knights of St. George, huh? So, hmm, why do they own that stuff? So let's go take a look what's in there. And, you know, most of the book, as you can see, I'll click on a page. You know, most of it's just, you know, crest, you know, no people or, or heads represented really that much. But then we get to a couple of them. Here's uh, one right here, as you can see. You know, they do have a couple of white people here or pale skin uh, representations, but, uh, you know, of course, just wanted to show you the ones they never show us, right? Look at this one right here. Again, all right, all coat of arms, noble European families. You see how this one is chained up? It's chained up with this other family, meaning they might be related, all right, or they might be united, marrying between each other. All right, all of the same offspring, you know, same clan, same tribes. As you can see, a so-called black family, a noble black family of Europe. Look at that symbol. And here's another one up close. All right. As you can see, look at the crest right now. Look at that. Look at the crown going around. And these are the letters under it. Very hard to see. And you can see so-called black man, right? Represented on a coat of arms. Noble families of Germany. All right, here's another one. I just want to show you this one. Look at this one. Wow. And with the feather. Again, these feathers look like the ones you see in the uh, Egyptian hieroglyphics, all right? But who will be rocking the feathers, all right? Who will be rocking the feathers, huh? Again, 
something that was blurred out here or something. I don't know what that is. Again, this is in their book. This from the 1400s, I believe. This one right here is from the 1400s. Okay, this other uh, book they got here, or manuscript, very old manuscripts they have here. It says Virgil Raber, Book of Coat of Arms of the Arlberg Brotherhood, 1548. 220 Classic Weimar Foundation, Duchess Anna Amalia Library. I'm going to go to that one right now. All right. And it's right here. A lot of crests and shields. I'm going to zoom into some of them. Very interesting. Most of these are just symbols and stuff. They don't really have people, but the ones that do have people, most of them, I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to zoom into this one right here. It says 3V4R. As you guys can see, 3V4R. All right, look at this. All right, let me show you. Look at that. Now, what is it telling us here? This is Sardinia, the coat of arms of Sardinia. Check out the original. All right, check out the original. Sardinia. Here, I'm going to skip this one. Algarbia, it says, or oh, Algarbia. Algarbia. And again, the one over here on the right, it says Cord, Cordua, Cordia. And another page here. Zoom into this one right here. All right, as you can see. You can read the writing right there. I can't really uh, read it. Eggfries or Eggfers? Jeffries. Can't really understand, but as you can see, the only face here and all these crests, you see, and what they, they what do they put, you see? So it'd be interesting to see all the people represented, right? What they really look like. This from another page right here. All right, as you can see, guy okay, represented right here. Okay. Hoffman, Goffman or Hoffman? The Hoffman, is that what it says? Hoffman? All right, zoom into this crest right here, as you can see. All right. Let me see if it says anything in the top. All right, tells you right here what the family is, I guess, and the relations. It goes down. Great coat of bone. Health. All right, as you can see. So swarty. And another page right here, some more coat of arms. Just want to show you these two, right? Okay, this guy right here. What's that say? It's the family right there. It's the symbol they got. <laughs> Look at that. X. All right, I'm in, I'm in another page right here. Again, just notice how the only person that's represented here is what? So swarthy. So swarthy. As you can see, this is the uh, family. What does that say? Salasarus? Does that say Salasarus? What? Or Lazarus? El Lazarus de Bel Belson. All right. That's the crest right here. Queen. Swarty Queen. All right. There's another one right here. I'm going to zoom into it right here. Let's see. George Bridge. Lord Bridge, Lord or Lord Bridge, Lord Bridge, Lord Bridge, Brett. Okay, I'm in another page. Look at all the coat of arms and crest. I'm gonna zoom into this one. All right, zoom into the so called black man right here. All right, look at this guy, the wild guy. <laughs> but uh, what does this say? All right, Brook. Homo Brook, Lomo Brook. Another page, and here's another one. Look at that. Another page. Found this one right here. All right, just so you can see. It says read, R I E D. I think uh, read, right? Read. Look at that. Read or read. 
We're going to uh, this book now. It says Principal Book of the Brotherhood of St. Christopher in Alberg, The Manuscript Ways, 242 State Archives, Vienna. When you go into the book, with the cover, St. Cristo 40. A lot of grass here. As you can see, not too many people represented. All right. I did find some very interesting ones here. I just want to show you guys. All right. And this is uh, one of them. I'm like page 214. Look at that. All right. That's what it says here in case you can read it. But there you go. All right. You see that? You see that? All right. And uh, this is another image we got right here. As you can see, this is the coat of arms. So swarthy. So swarthy. That's what it says in case you can read it. I can't really read that, but in case anybody can read it, it tells you. And this is another one right here. Great image. Look at that with the turban and everything, bow and arrows. Again, this is from Germany, bow and arrows, so-called black man, black noble family, so swarthy. Look at that with the turban and bow and arrows. This is another one, very cool one right here. Let me just close out. Now, as you can see, there's three of them here. There's only one, per one of them has a person. All right, look at that. Look what we find here. These are the words, just in case you want to interpret it, if you can. All right. And look at the shield. Look at the family crest. Who's that right there? Look at that. All right. Coat of arms, Germany. Noble European families. Look at that. Zoom out again. Zoom into some other ones right here. All right. And move over here to the left. There's another brother right here <laughs> again these are all European noble families and we're in another page right here and let me zoom into this one so you can see it wow look at that that's so awesome and it says Maximilian Mon something I can't read the rest you guys can interpret that Look at this. Look at that. Who is that on the shield? Black royal noble family. So-called black, right? These ain't no slaves. And it's conjecture for you to say they're African. You got to prove that part. Because we know not everybody came out of Africa. That's a theory. Right? We're going to go over here. There's another one down here. As you can see, only some of them are represented. Look at this right here. Look at that. Right? Who's that right there? We go down. This is the words. It's just Maria Jacobs. Maria Jacob von Marthun Brinsen. <laughs> Wish we could interpret these, right? And know what exact families and everything. But as you can see, the so-called Negro, right? Black noble family. Europe. History. Real European coat of arms, real family crest. All right. Break the spells right in front of you. 